Yo yo, we are back in After Effects and today we'll be going over this crazy glow trail effect. You can say light trail or glow trail. I also heard somebody say like ghost trail, yeah ghost trail so the last tutorial i made on this you guys really liked it so we are back with the sauce and if you don't already know this is the month of july so i'll be uploading every single day so make sure to subscribe and hit that bell notification so you are locked in with all the tutorials this month there's a lot of sauce to cover so let's just get into it so here in my comp you can see i already rotoscope out his money and his hand you can actually rotoscope anything you like you wanna glow on like if you can you can also do it on his jewelry do it on his watch and stuff but i just rotoscope them out because i want the glow only on them so let's just hide my background layer for now so we can focus on our roto layer so the first thing we're gonna do is select our roto layer right click recomp and pre comp it like that after that the first effect we want to add is find edges add that and it will turn into white we don't want that so we're gonna just hit invert and it will invert it and make it black with those glowing white lines after that you can add a little curves if you want like uh, something like that nothing too much and to add that color we're gonna use vc color vibrance if you don't know already what it is it's a completely free plugin so you can download if you don't want to download it you can use like tritone or something like that to change the color but we gonna use this now and where it says color just change your color to like something like orange i'm gonna go with orange for now like that that looks really sick right there let's just go into our curve and make it a bit darker and super quick i just want to let you guys know that i just launched my ultimate grunge bundle the ultimate grunge bundle allows you to add those crazy grungy aesthetic to your music video that you see everywhere right now it comes with 60 plus assets in it and in my website there's an insane bundle going on it you are really getting like 27 dollar off on it so hurry up and grab the pack right now the link will be in the description let's get back into the video okay after that add rsmb if you don't already know this is also a plugin so add rsmp into it if you don't have it you can use like force motion blur or something like that yeah you can use this but we're gonna use the rsmb and turn the gpu on for now if you don't have gpu you can just turn it off and bring up the motion sensitivity to 100 and set the amount to like something like 0 0.8 i guess let's just go with one and as you can already see it adds those motion blur which looks pretty sick after that we're gonna add echo into this and this is the effect right here which is gonna create those all of those light trails so we're gonna go over to echo now and set the number of echoes to like eight and for the echo operator set it to screen on uh, screen right here and you can just lower down the decay 75 or something like that now we are done with this so we're gonna just pre-comp it real quick all of those effect pre-comp it so we'll start by adding a turbulence displacement into here and lower down the size to something around 10 and and lower down the amount as well after that we're gonna add sapphire distort chroma it is from sapphire as well and lower down the size to something like really small maybe like something around 10 like 4 to 5 you can use those and for the distort chroma account set it to minus 20 or something like that so we have those warping around it you can also add like sapphire distort blur if you want and play with that as well if you like to but let's just keep it simple for now so now we're gonna render it so i'm gonna add us just a solid right here make sure it's black and put it before your trail layer and just pick on all of these all of these right there not our background then go to file go to export and add to render cube and you can set it to like quick time for this and you can set the format settings to apple pro Res, and just render it wherever you want let's just name it effect and render it we are just doing it so the after effect doesn't crash because we still gotta add a lot of effect into this so after your exporting is done go over to your main comp and just hide this layer and just locate it where you export it and just bring it up to your comp position and you'll see your trail right here as you can see it looks a bit choppy and to fix that we're gonna add another rsmb into this so rsmb let's just add it into our clip and set the blur amount to one and set the sensitivity to 100 and you can turn on the gpu if you want that will make it a lot smoother as you can see 
After that, just pre comp your layer and you can bring up your background layer now and just enable it. And you won't see your background for now. So, to fix that, toggle switches on more and selecting your effect layer, just set it to linear does. So, the first thing we want to do is add optical glow into this. If you have deep glow, you can use that too, but I prefer optical glow on it. Just bring up the amount to something like 28 or something like that and bring up the radius to something crazy like around 200 or 100 then we're gonna add the glint so search up sapphire glint into this and add it into your layer right away it's too bright so let's just lower down the amount and you can also like lower down the size if you want it creates those shiny rays look i really like and to add on to this we're gonna add a bcc glint too bcc glint right there if you don't have this don't worry you can just continue without this too but i think it looks pretty cool as well so let's just lower down the amount the brightness i mean to like something like 15 so we have those little rays which looks really cool after that it looks really epic then to pop it off more you can add like a curves and bring up the highlights of it and lower down the shadows of it like that so it pops off really well and we are pretty much done with the trail layer now so just to top it off we're gonna add more effects into our background so to do that select your background clip which is this as you can see and firstly add like a sapphire distort chroma into this again and for lens set it as your trail layer so it is on one so let's just add it on here like that and bring up the lens size a bit and lower down the amount to like 100 or something like that just so we have a little bit of displacement going on here then after that add like a chromatic displacement this is from Razer VFX with if you don't have this you can skip this part too and use like a displacement map or something like that but we're gonna use this for now and for this to select your layer and bring up the displacement amount you can bring up the displacement amount to like 55 and lower down the softness uh something around two or four let's just go with three for now and right there you can see it adds a lot of displacement into our background which helps it blend more so after that you can add some overlay if you want i have something pull up here let me show you real quick this is a simple lens frame i'm gonna add down to it you can download it straight from youtube and to bring back your background set it to color dodge and add like a hls and set it to yellow mm, where is yellow right there maybe set it to screen that looks really dope right there then to top it all off create an adjustment layer as always and add like a curves in it and make a simple s curve nothing too much uh one more thing i like to do is create a null layer real quick null and put it before your adjustment layer and your lens flare and link your effect layer and your background layer straight to it so parent it and press y and set the anchor point to his face then you can just zoom it in f9 to easy is the keyframes go into graph and make a tight graph i mean value graph by the way and turn on motion blur for all of your layers and if you want you can add some of my preset too it looks really cool with it so let me show you real quick so let's just go into animation preset user preset and open up my ultimate grunge bundle you can add some sick if you want to but let's just go here and go into add-on from here you can add anything you like so for now let's just go with puddle dark this is like a transition so i'm gonna show you how to use it so let's just slide it in right there and we're gonna lower down the hotspot amount of it and right there it adds those crazy flickers and those transition which looks pretty cool if you're going for this look these are all like creepy effects in it so if you are onto those you can download this so this is just for an example we're gonna use this and my final result looks something like this so hope you like the video if you like the video make sure to hit the like button and also subscribe to my channel for more videos like this check out my digital store has a lot of useful stuff in it so see you in next day peace